After being ordered to attack into the city of Fallujah, uh, I was ordered to halt the attack deep inside the city. And during that first and ultimately aborted attack, ordered to withdraw our Marines and sailors out of the city they had fought for, and they had lost some of their buddies in that fight. So it was a difficult uh, decision. Uh, it was a decision taken for reasons that had nothing to do with the tactical situation on the ground. I was concerned to a degree if the Marines would lose confidence in their leadership uh, because of it, but they didn't. I still recall a young saw gunner uh, being interviewed by a television crew talking about how terrible he must feel that he was being ordered out of the city. And he was a slow-talking Marine from down south. He just calmly looked into the camera and said, doesn't matter. We'll just hunt them down somewhere else and kill them. And I bring this up because ultimately it's about the spirit of the Marine Corps that nothing, nothing really can stop us. And we just don't take refuge in self-pity or any of that kind of stuff. And so as a result, the Marine Corps remains a very feared organization in this world, as it should be. Uh, so tough decisions, tough times, and sometimes things don't go our way. Doesn't have anything to do with the decision we make about how we feel about it. Every Marine makes their own decision about how they're gonna react what happens to them. And that's what sets the Marine Corps apart because when the times get tough, the Marines get tougher.